Hi everyone, this is Katie from the Graphic 45 Design Team. On today's coordination block hop, I'm sharing this auto bookend that I've done for my sister. This bookend was actually made of wood, um, constructed by my sister as part of a design and technology um, school project when she was 14 years old. So we managed to find this piece while we were doing some sort of spring cleaning at my mom's place one day. And when I look at it, it was seriously my first time looking at it because I never seen that she has done something like this before. And it gives me some sort of the um, old school flashback kind of um, nostalgic memories. And I think that, oh my god, this is like, so school made. And when I look at it, I was thinking, oh, perhaps I should alter for her something interesting and inspirational for her. So the first thing that came to my mind is to use the Graphic 45 typography paper collection um, to create this piece for her. So the reason why I want to use the typography um, paper collection is because I managed to find some interesting live quotes that I think that um, it will make this piece a wonderful piece that is something um, that will serve as a live reminder for her. And this is what actually I've done. So the first thing that I do is to actually gesso the entire piece with black gesso. And uh, I embossed some of the clock faces on this uh, black cardstock, the signature series uh, by coordinations. And then I cut them into various pieces and I paste them onto random areas on these two panels in specific. Basically the base here and also at the back here as you could see. And then I whitewashed it to give a little bit of like an old wood kind of feeling. Uh, to add on more texture, I stencil it with my script stencil and I painted some tinted gold acrylic paint on areas where the stencils are. And then at the end, um, I managed to achieve this um, grungy look. So after I finished painting the entire bookend, that is the challenging part that it took me a day to think of how to embellish this whole bookend because I have this thought of having something grungy and inspirational but yet I do not know how to put all the elements together and then I was like thinking why not I use metal embellishments which I managed to at the end of the day because I realized that I have a lot of team hearts, um, you know those uh, interesting metal embellishment that I never put into into good use. So finally, I decided to apply them on on this um, bookend. So the concept that came to my mind is to create little stations that is re really uh, school and life re related. So I had the ideas of about like clock, uh, keys, um, something like uh, bulbs like pending down of thoughts and etc. this kind of um, concept. Um, and then I decided to, to station them, organize them in such a way that um, it's kind, it looks kind of messy, but yet it's organized in a certain way. So over here, as you could see, is this little um, pen and ink station where I cut like various ink bottles from the typography collection and then the pen nibs here. So this is like a little stationery shop that sell pens and, and, and inks here. And then over on the other end, over here is about the journaling section where you pen down all your thoughts. That's why I had the Tim Hortz um, bobs here where it indicates like thoughts and then nibs. That means it is like penning down your thoughts here. So that is basically the idea and then uh, a clock school here. Um, and uh, I place certain quotes over the entire book and in specifically at the centerpiece here uh, about patience. I deliberately wanted to place it here right at the, at the focal point here where she can see it because she tends to be impatient. So this is a message across to my sister about being patient. And besides this quote here, I deliberately um, position the ornate keys here. This is from the Graphic 45 staple that it indicates like the, um, the hour and the minute hand on an imaginary clock. So basically the idea is to let her know that um, 
timing is key and as well as patience is key as well. So sometimes when you do certain things in your life, not only you need to be patient, but you also need to write to find the right timing to act. So basically, this is the entire idea that I want to 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 bring across to her. And uh, I have these uh, leftover Inverborn word bobs here that I would like to fully utilize. So I have. This little section is for you, which means it's for my sister. Um, not sure whether you could see here. And then leaf. Okay, this leaf here could mean a lot of things here. So I leave this entire interpretation for her imagination. Uh, and uh, I added quite a number of Tim Holtz elements. Because this is an altered piece, so I have this altered that is from Tim Hortz as well, here, and genuine. This is a genuine altered piece from me. And I also believe that she constructed this book and um, with a lot of effort as well, a lot of genuine effort as well. So that's why I had this genuine here. And then one more quote here from the Tim Hortz word band, Encourage your hopes, not your fears. And then uh, one more quote from the typography collection about friends. Uh, and then, uh, so this entire piece actually, after I had finished altering, um, is without the brush chain. And I want to keep it as it is. But I realized that there is some sort of emptiness over here, which I wanted to create some sort of... Um, how should I say, some sort of space here um, that is filled up to complement the entire look. That's why I decided to, to string up the various elements um, using um, a single brass chain, which is about one to two meters long. And, and I felt that after this whole thing was done, um, it looks pretty, um, I should say, link up of all the elements I've, I've placed here. So this is basically what I've done for my sister and I hope that this will give you some ideas in how to alter certain pieces that is difficult to alter and also to make you some of certain stuff that you manage to find at home and alter them to something interesting for your loved ones. I hope you will enjoy this orientation and thanks for watching. Goodbye.